Cristiano Ronaldo has signed a two-year contract to play for the Saudi Arabian club Al Nazar. But will this be the club that he ends his career at? Today, we're letting FIFA 23 answer that question as we are playing until the end of Ronaldo's career. All right, let's get a good base for this video. Here we go. This is the team that Al Nazar has put together to surround Ronaldo. It is... I mean, it's good for the Saudi league. In-game, Cristiano Ronaldo is 37 years old and he has a two-year contract with this club. We, however, are going to be assisting Cristiano Ronaldo till the end of his career, where if he becomes a free agent, we'll be able to sign him to new clubs. We'll also be able to transfer him to new clubs, but ultimately, it will be Ronaldo's decision to decide when and if he retires. Yeah, that's right. I said if. Honestly, I could see Cristiano Ronaldo just playing till he's 100 years old. If you guys are excited for this video, I need you right now to pause and subscribe click the subscribe button i'll wait i'll wait okay and we can move we'll begin this video by simulating till the end of ronaldo's first season with al nazar oh my god what a start to the video cristiano ronaldo is injured what watch this genuinely just be like one season ronaldo gets injured and retires immediately okay he's dislocated his shoulder he will be fit in six weeks and his rating has dropped to minus two he's also now 38 years old i also forgot the end of the season for the saudi league is not necessarily june like it always is they are in the middle of a cup al nazar wins the saudi league with ease on 75 points only losing one match and we'll have to wait until the next season to see how they finish in the asia continental cup which i believe is just like asia's version of the champions league I hope I'm right about that. Even with the injury, Cristiano Ronaldo, 25 goals and four assists. And he's not announced his retirement yet, so we will be playing another season with Al Nazar. All right, season number two, Ronaldo is still injured. And we're in the quarterfinals of the Asian Champions League, so we can't leave Al Nazar until we win this competition. Or lose, or... I think we're gonna win. And yes, I did say leave Al Nazar, even though Ronaldo has one year left in his contract. I... I don't want to be in the Saudi league anymore. We're going to have options to potentially move him back to Real Madrid, back to Sporting, not back to Manchester United, but maybe something like MLS potentially too. And arriving in October 2023, it looks like Ronaldo successfully made the final with Al Nazar. He's won the European Champions League. Now it is time for him to win the Asian Champions League. Would Ronaldo be the first player ever to, to do that? Probably one of the most impressive things you could ever do in world football is to win the Champions League in every continent because they have one for Asia. They have one for Europe, obviously. They have one for North America and South America. America. Here it is, the final. Cristiano Ronaldo is 85 rated with plus five to his overall because he's in good form. And here it is. Cristiano Ronaldo has added another trophy to his closet with a 2-1 win. In FIFA, at least, Cristiano Ronaldo has dominated Saudi Arabia. But now that he's won this trophy, we can take Ronaldo, add him to the transfer list. It's time to find a new club, which could potentially be his last. And we've received our first offer coming from Yes. Huh? Now, during this period, we're going to have offers come in for Cristiano Ronaldo. If we want to wait out this last year, though, we can make him a free agent and sign for whoever we want. I'm not feeling PSV. I, I don't think Ronaldo would want to end his career in the Netherlands, sadly. Sorry, Editor Patrick, because you guys know my editor's from the Netherlands. Um, I'm I'm sorry, bro. Okay, offer number two is from Porto for a transfer fee of 35 million pounds. I'm going to have to reject that, too. And he's gotten a third offer from Ajax. Why do all these Dutch teams want Ronaldo? Now, this one would actually be sick but i just i can't see ronaldo like ending his career at ajax this also isn't to say that the next club we join is going to be ronaldo's last club i don't think it will be but i'm gonna act like it is i'm just gonna sim until i get real madrid i really want him to go back to spain next offer is az that's not happening oh so many offers sporting now offering him no we also have befica offering him no oh wait sporting might have that could have been really cool, bro. We could have returned him to Portugal. I don't know why I turned those down so quick. We then simulate to the January transfer window where we got the perfect offer for Cristiano Ronaldo. It will still hopefully be time to either return him maybe to Portugal, maybe to Spain, but I got an offer from MLS and LAFC, and there's no way I can't accept this offer. We're off to the US. And he has arrived to his new club where he has dropped to an 82 overall. <laughs> I'm still 38 years old. He's only signed a one-year contract to LAFC, so I only imagine us being here for that one year. And LAFC, I've now found their new striker. He will be alongside Carlos Vela. Ronaldo and Messi joining the MLS is literally my all-time dream, and I have now made that happen. Well, just Ronaldo. Messi's still probably in PSG. Could you imagine he like moved to like Inter-Miami or something in career mode? And although Ronaldo doesn't look like he's retiring anytime soon, this is Carlos Vela's last season. He is retiring 
at the age of 34. We will now simulate our first and only season in MLS with Cristiano Ronaldo. All right, we've made it to December of 2024. Ronaldo has dropped to a 79 overall. I low-key just feel sad looking at how bad Ronaldo is. Do uh, you remember the good old days when he was 90 overall? Yeah, not anymore. He did, however, finish with 15 goals in MLS, which is really good. Sadly, it was not enough to get him the golden boot, though, in MLS as he finished in fifth place. And Cristiano Ronaldo won the Asia Champions League. He won the Saudi League. It's time to see what he can do in the U.S. of A. Here is MLS. I mean, I love to see that. My, my hometown club, my favorite club, FC Cincinnati, first place in the Eastern Conference. Head LAFC, first place in the Western Conference. Hey, right, can we just end the video here? I like the way this looks a lot. Conference semifinals, FC Cincinnati eliminated, but LAFC is moving on. Where they take an L to Austin FC in New York City FC win MLS. And with Ronaldo's contract now expiring in one month, he has no plans of retiring. He's gonna become a free agent and we get to move him to whatever club we choose. All right, so here are our options, starting out with Real Madrid. We could return him to Spain. I've wanted to do this, but we'd have to compete against Kareem Benzema for the starting attacker spot. Ronaldo is not very high rated anymore. It would be fun to end Ronaldo's career at Real Madrid, but I want to end his career with him playing football and not sitting on the bench. So we're rejecting this. Option two, we move him to Sporting, another one of his former clubs. This is where he actually began his career. I do think we would start on this team, but it is a bit boring in my opinion. And I think instead of moving Ronaldo back to some of his former clubs, I want to try ending his career with new teams. So instead, we're going to go for the third and final option, which is the Australian League. Jared, I know this isn't Western Sydney Wonders, but I hope you're proud of me for moving to Australia. We are moving Ronaldo to Melbourne City now. Let's go. Please welcome your newest Aussie striker, CR7. Let's go. Bro, what? Why have I moved him here? Ronaldo has now been placed at striker. I don't even know if Melbourne City is the best team in Australia. I have no idea why I went here. I think for the rest of Ronaldo's career, we're pretty much just going to move him to leagues that are going to allow him to start. Meaning if Ronaldo is like in the 60s overall next year, we're going to have to move him to like league four in England. <laughs> it's another one season contract for Cristiano Ronaldo, who is now 39 years old. He is still not yet retiring. It now says his status as a player for the history books. Yes. And just to point out before we simulate that we have arrived in the middle, well, kind of the beginning of the season, Melbourne City's in eighth place. So we're about to find out if Ronaldo can take them to glory. We'll now simulate Ronaldo's first and only season playing in Australia. So at the end of his third season in this video, Ronaldo's dropped to a 76, which again, isn't bad. Ronaldo is now 40 years old. The man is, he's, he's a grandpa pretty much. Yo, look at this, bro. Um, Wow, Ronaldo just changed the entire game by joining this club, moving Melbourne City up to first place. But there are playoffs in the Australian League, which we need to win. It's a win of the Derby match against Melbourne Victory, and it's Sydney FC in the final. Ronaldo wins his third trophy of this video. Bro, he's just traveling the world and dominating. Besides MLS, though. Ronaldo apparently cannot win MLS. But he is now a king of Australia. Scores 18 goals, gets five assists. The man is tearing up all these leagues. But I have a feeling that this next season might be the year that Cristiano Ronaldo retires. Now I'm going to end the season where Ronaldo is going to become a free agent again, and we have options of where to send him. So Ronaldo is about to become a free agent here in just one day when we simulate. But look at this. Retiring at the end of the season. I, I knew it was about to happen soon once he turned 40. So whatever club we move him to next will be his final club. And uh, I'm going to move him somewhere quite unexpected. Instead of going for Champions League glory in our final season, returning to Madrid, I am making it our goal to win English League with Leighton Orient. I honestly have no idea why I chose them. I pretty much just looked at the fourth division in England, like, rolled my finger up, and we landed on Leighton. So let's just accept. I said that we move to this division um, kind of as a joke a little bit earlier in the video. And now we're actually doing it. So I know this is extremely unrealistic, but how amazing would this be if for Ronaldo's last season, he just said F it and was like, yeah, I'm just going to try to get some random club in England promoted or in any league for that matter. <laughs> All of these 60 rated players and then Cristiano Ronaldo at top. Bro, look at Ronaldo's defending. It's literally at 10. <laughs> it just looks so weird, bro. Him in that kit. Honestly, Leighton's kit though is fire. No idea what that sponsor is. Seriously, what is that? 
Okay, either way, it's, that's amazing. We'll now simulate Ronaldo's final season to see if we can get Leighton promoted. All right, June 2026. And this is so sad because they're predicting Ronaldo to retire right here, meaning he doesn't get to play in the World Cup. Ronaldo is going to end with an overall of 71. 22 goals in his final season. Ronaldo, even at 41 years old, is just dominating. But this is, this is quite possible like the easiest league in fifa so but will ronaldo help late in game promotion it is time to find out and end the video cristiano ronaldo and late oh my god are they actually gonna do it no no oh there it is first place in efl league two ronaldo's done it was there ever any doubt though probably no there wasn't <laughs> and there it is with him retiring at the end of the season all we have to do is sim to the end ronaldo will be no more. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this one, click to watch while I play till the end of Messi's career. This one, that's a good video. You, sh you guys should watch that video right now, I think.